We only get so many sunrises and sunsets in our life and uh, sometimes you just got to get up early to catch them. Absolutely stunning. Stunning sunsets and stunning sunrises all generally make you feel a little bit philosophical about life, the universe and everything. As a GP, people often ask me, you know, what's my success rate in looking after patients? And I tell them my success rate is zero. We're all going to die. So my job as a GP has always been about quality of life and quantity of life. And they're not mutually exclusive, but you need to consider both of them in every decision that you make. Sometimes you can increase a person's quality of life and their quality goes down. And vice versa, you can increase their quality of life and their quantity goes down. So it's finding that delicate balance that's the important thing. When you do risky things, it's very similar. When you go sailing solo or kite surfing or surfing or jumping off a cliff or bungee jumping. They're all calculated risks that increase your quality of life, potentially reduce your quantity. But in the long run, we're all gonna die and we've all gotta make those decisions that help us just smell the roses and wake up each day with a smile. No matter how many days we've got left. So let's hope you enjoy a lot more sunrises and sunsets but either increase your quality or quantity, I don't mind. You have a good one. Cheers. This is the Screecher, the furling for sale. And currently rolling the full main. I've had a few questions posed to me, so I thought I'd answer a couple of them. Um, I talk about sailing speed in knots. A knot is one nautical mile per hour, and a nautical mile is about 1.8 kilometers, but it's actually a measurement of degrees. So one nautical mile is one second of one degree of latitude. That's the distance between rings as you go up and down the earth, not around, but from the equator going north. So they're all equidistant. So one nautical mile is one second of one degree of latitude. One of the big differences between um, sailing and driving is that on land, when you do 10 kilometers an hour, you're gonna cover 10 kilometers. But um, when you're doing 10 uh, knots, you may cover none if the sea underneath you is heading backwards at 10 knots. And uh, so we measure our distances in nautical miles because that's the true movement as we move around latitudes and longitudes on the ocean. Hope that makes sense. The area on the front of a catamaran is called the trampoline and often the first kids thing kids say is uh, can they jump on it? Well, you can walk on it, and it's not really a trampoline like you made out of springy material. It's basically a netted area that reduces the weight of the boat forward and gives us a safe area to manoeuvre around whilst pulling up down sails and also is a really comfortable area to lounge on in the evenings or when you're meandering along on an early morning sail. So, yeah, that's, that's the trampolines. Um, We're just uh, approaching Cape Upstart. Been a good run, about uh, 65, 70 nautical miles today. Um, most of the way was under Screecher in Maine, traveling at about seven and eight knots. Very light wind. Just died now as we've got behind Cape Upstart and uh, we've got one of the motors going just to tick us on and we'll get around the corner and anchor for the evening. Hope you've all had a lovely day. Take care.